What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Dash Reacts. And today let's check out another South Park episode from season seven. This is Christian Rockhart. Let's do it. Stan, are you okay? Yeah, Dad, we're just rehearsing our band. Oh, I thought a group of Vietnamese people were having their intestines pulled out through their mouths. <laughs> we have to define our style if we're ever going to make a platinum album. I think our band better buy a whole bunch of music CDs to listen to for inspiration. That's it. Inspiration, you guys. Our band should play Christian rock. <laughs> Smile. If we just play songs about how much we love Jesus, all the Christians will buy our crap. That's a retarded idea, Cartman. It worked for Creed. I don't want to be in a stupid Creed. Christian rock band. You just start that way, Stan, then you cross over. It's genius. Just get the hell out of here, Cartman. You're not serious and you're a detriment to the band. I will bet you 10 bucks that if I start a Christian rock band, I can get a platinum album before you guys do. You're on, fat boy. Oh, hi, Eric. Butters, get your drum set and meet me at my house. We have to make a platinum album. Larry Butters. Token, get the bass guitar out of your basement and meet me over at my house. What? We don't have a bass guitar. Your family's black, Token. There's bound to be a bass guitar in your basement somewhere. Hey, there was a bass guitar in my basement. I told you, Token. So what are we doing? <laughs> we are going to start a Christian rock band. Uh. <laughs> Wait, I'm walk out. out that door token and you'll regret it the rest of your life. Christians have a built-in audience of over 180 million Americans. If each one of them bought just one of our albums at $12.95, that would be $2,331,000,000. Nice, butters. Dad, can I borrow $300? Our band can't find a stylistic direction to go in. We need to go down to the mall to buy hundreds of CDs to listen to so we can define our sound. Sorry, Kyle, we gave you your allowance already. Hey, dude, it didn't work. My stupid Jew dad won't let me money for CDs. No, dude, it's cool. Kenny says you can download music for free on the internet. See, everyone on the internet copies music from their CDs, and then we can download them for free and play them on the computer. Let's download some Metallica and some Stevie Wonder. Oh, <laughs> Kenny's right, we should download some Judas Priest, too. <laughs> Down on the ground! Down on the ground! Why did they have to jump through the window for that? Like, it just wasn't necessary. Tango team is at point, bravo. Suspects in custody. Where are their parents? Kyle, oh. what did you do? I don't know! All we have to do to make Christian songs is take regular old songs and add Jesus stuff to them. Cross out words like baby and darling and replace them with Jesus. All right, buddies, give me a beat. Uh. Uh. Okay, nice, very uh. nice. All right, Token, give me a smooth bass line. I don't know how to play bass. Token, how many times do we have to go through this? You're black, you can play bass. I'm getting sick of your stereotypes. Be as sick as you want, just give me a goddamn bass line. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> That's classic, dude. I need you in my life, Jesus. I can't live without you, Jesus. And I just want to feel you deep inside me. Jesus. Wait a minute. Hello, sir. Um, sir? Shut up! You downloaded a lot of songs. Says here you even downloaded Judas Priest? That's hard time you boys are looking at. I didn't think it was that big a deal. You think downloading music for free is not a big deal? I'm gonna show you something. And I don't think you're gonna like it. This is the home of Lars Ulrich, the drummer from Metallica. This month he was hoping to have a gold-plated Shark Tank bar installed right next to the pool. But thanks to people downloading his music for free, he must now wait a few months before he can afford it. <laughs> Here's Britney Spears' private jet. Britney used to have a Gulfstream 4. Now she's had to sell it and get a Gulfstream 3 because people like you chose to download her music for free. I love the way South Park trolls celebrities, man. Still think downloading music for free is no big deal? We. Oui didn't realize what we were doing it. That is the folly of man. <laughs> Here you see the loving family of Master P. Next week is his son's birthday and all he's ever wanted is an island in French Polynesia. So he's gonna get it, right? If things keep going the way they are, the child will not get his tropical paradise. We're sorry, we'll, we'll never download music for free again. Man must learn to think of these horrible outcomes before he acts selfishly or else I fear Recording artists will be forever doomed to a life of only semi-luxury. <laughs> this Christian album better make as much money as you said it would, Tubby. I'm going to kill you one day, Token. Oh. What did you say? Nothing. Oh. All right, guys, stand over there and look wholesome and cool. Trees! No, no, no. Haven't you guys ever seen an album cover? You're supposed to be standing in random places, looking away like you don't care. Trees! 
No butters, butters. can't look happy on an album cover. That's not cool. Why the hell would I be looking way over there? So it looks like you're too cool to care that you're on an album cover, you black asshole. Don't ever leave me, Jesus. I couldn't stand to see you go. I promise I'll be good to you and keep you warm at night. Jesus, 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 why don't we just shut off the light? What? <laughs> so dumb. If you parents would just step over here, you can pay their $400 release and penalty fees. $400? Ouch. Just for downloading some songs off the internet? It's not that big a deal. Not a big deal, huh? No. Come with me. I'm gonna show you something. And I don't think you're gonna like it. Until we get people to stop downloading music for free, I say we refuse to play. I'm standing in South Park, Colorado, where the rock band Moop has refused to play. But nobody knows who they are. The album for my Christian rock band, Faith Plus One, is about to go platinum. That's right, we've already sold 13 copies. You want to pay me that $10 bet now, Kyle? Nya, 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 nya. <laughs> you get a platinum album for selling one million copies, you fat turd. This weekend is Christfest, the single largest gathering of Christians in the Midwest. Each one of them a walking, praying wallet full of cash. And I'll be there selling my album. You don't even know anything about Christianity. I know enough to exploit it. Just get that 10 bucks ready, Cal. Ta-ta. Yes, it's really the best Christian album that's ever been produced, actually. Ooh, this would be great for my grandchildren. They need hip, cool music, but with inspirational lyrics. I think that's what the whole world needs. Praise Christ. We're not really Christian. We're just pretending we are. Oh, Butters? Butters, remind me later to cut your balls off. Welcome to Christ Fest 2003! <laughs> are you ready for some live music? Yeah, Jesus! <laughs> then let's yeah, give Jesus. it up now for one of Christian Rock's biggest bands, Trinity! Shepherd and the light, and his word lifted me up. Praise his holy name wherever I go. We have got to get on that stage. Who are you? We're the band Sanctified. Yeah, we proved that Christian music can be tough and hardcore. <laughs> Send down from heaven the spirit and the glory! <laughs> We want to pray with you before you go on stage. Oh, that, that's cool. Father in heaven, we thank you for all your blessings. Hey, Eric, I don't think they can get out. Well, let's keep this salvation train going with the hot band Sanctify. Uh, uh, apparently, there's been a change. Give it up for Faith Plus One. I'm not sure if I'm missing it or not, but is there some meaning behind Faith Plus One? If so, let me know in the comments. I love you, Jesus. I want you to walk with me. This is so silly. Call you my baby, baby. What's the matter, baby? You're trembling, Jesus, baby. <laughs> Your love, and it's up to you to save me, Jesus, baby. I love that Cartman's keyboard is a gorg instead of a korg. And the only reason I was thinking about it is because the digital piano behind me is also a Korg. We've got to fight through the rough times like Journey. In a recent poll, we asked people if Moop's refusal to play would stop them from downloading music off the internet. 1% said yes, 2% said no, and 97% said, who the hell is Moop? <laughs> exactly. Metallica is behind you dudes a thousand percent. We're gonna sit here and protest with you until free downloading stops, yeah. <laughs> Alanis Morissette, Blink-182, Britney Spears, and dozens of others are going to join Moop in not playing music. We here at Faith Records were very moved by your performance at Christfest. We just had one question, though. We were looking over some of your lyrics. I want to walk hand in hand with Jesus on a private beach for two. I want him to nibble on my ear and say I'm here for you. What? It, it appears you are actually in love with Christ. Oh, what's the difference? You love Christ, you're in love with Christ? I mean, what the heck is this? Uh, we just like to make sure the bands we sign are in it for God and not for the money. I have never in my life done anything just for the money. If I'm lying, may the Lord strike me down right now. Uh, uh. <laughs> but is this is moving. That's all we need you to know. Just <laughs> sign here and we'll get your album sold. Faith Plus One, featuring the very best in good, wholesome Christian music. With great inspirational songs like I Wasn't Born Again Yesterday. Yes, I may be born again, but I wasn't born again yesterday. <laughs> I want to get down on my knees and start pleasing Jesus. I want to feel his salvation all over my face. <laughs> the CD is filled with instant classics. <laughs> Who does This show just gets dumber and dumber. <laughs> they are always pushing it, bro. Like <laughs> 
South Park doesn't know when to stop. Get down on my knees and start pleasing Jesus. I want to feel his salvation all over my face. The CD is filled with instant classics. Who doesn't remember? The body of Christ. Sleek swimmer's body all mustard up and toned. Body of Christ. Oh, what a body. I wish I could call it my own. One Jesus chance. Knows. Two times. Three times my savior. Wait a minute. Is that a ripoff of three times a lady? That's a, that's a Lionel Richie song or a Commodore song. It's one of the two. Whenever I see Jesus up on that cross, I can't help but think that he looks kind of hot. You guys, we can't give up on our dreams now. As soon as the strike ends, we're going to be the biggest band ever. Certified letter for the rock band Moop. That's us. Faith Plus One's debut album has just sold one million copies. Uh-oh. What? We cordially invite you to attend the Platinum Album Awards Ceremony, which will be held tomorrow morning at 10. Details and proof of sales enclosed. P.S. Na 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 na. Ha ha He beat us. Because all this time we've been so caught up with how to protect our music that we forgot to just play. But why play if we're not going to make millions of dollars? Because that's what real artists do. People are always going to find a way to copy our music and swap it for free. And we should just play and be stoked that so many people are listening. We're not striking anymore. Who's with us? We're just about the money. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Dude, what are you going to do about your bet with Cartman? Are you going to pay him? I'm going to swallow my pride, face Cartman, and say, congratulations, you were right. And I'm going to give him the $10. But why would Cartman even need the $10 anymore? If he sold a million copies, isn't, isn't he, like, rich now? But it is Cartman, though. And I'm going to give him the $10. And hopefully, he won't make a big deal out of it. Yes, he will. <laughs> Cartman, what the hell is all this? Our platinum album ceremony has spared no expense. But you spent all the money we made. We're oh. made plus one token, there'll be plenty more money. Relax and enjoy, black asshole. You won the bed, here's ten dollars. Oh, no, 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 not yet, Cap. Hold on. Oh, what's gonna happen? <laughs> Welcome to the presentation ceremony for Faith Plus One. This is the worst day of my life. Ah, this is the best day of my life. <laughs> Boys, in recognition of over one million records sold, the Christian recording industry is pleased to present you with this Murr album. Murr, Murr. Man, <laughs> like frankincense and myrrh, like the three wise men. This show, bro. <laughs> Thank you, Ben. Myrrh album? I thought albums went either gold or platinum. No, no, in Christian rock, our albums go gold and frankincense and myrrh. Congratulations. <laughs> ha! Our bet was that you would get a platinum album, not a myrrh album. I don't owe you anything, fat boy. Do you mean to tell me I can never get a platinum album with a Christian rock band? No, but you can go double myrrh. Double myrrh. <laughs> God damn it! <gasps> oh, please don't take the Lord's name in vain. You brought faith in Jesus. Oh, fuck Jesus! <gasps> ah! Eric, I'm pretty sure you shouldn't say that word about Jesus. Good job, dickhead. You lost the entire audience. Now, ah, fuck you, Token, you black asshole. Yes, oh! yes. <coughs> Good. I guess he got what he deserved. He did. <laughs> fuck you, Eric. Oh, nice, body buddy. Great episode, funny episode, line stepping episode. Habitual line stepper. The music in this episode was dumb, but but it was really good. It always makes me laugh at just how talented the creators of South Park are at making music. And I really like this episode because it takes you back in time. So if this episode got released in 2003, that would have been one of the major issues of the time. So a lot of musicians and, and artists were upset about their music getting illegally downloaded because it was taking money out of their pockets, right? And it kind of just takes you back to a time when, uh, was it Napster? So I guess Napster would have been uh, late, late 90s, maybe? And then I don't even know if iTunes existed yet in 2003, or if it did, it, it would have just been getting started. So I don't know if, if every artist would have been on board yet, but it's, it's kind of cool though because it's part of internet history, right? But if you enjoyed this reaction, please make sure to give this video a like. Let me know your thoughts in the comments and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.